Today I'm showing you how you can download and install Fabric for Minecraft 1.20.3. Now what you want to make sure of first is that you've actually removed any old versions of Fabric from your device, since these may potentially interfere with the install process. Anyways, what you want to do here is click on this download for Windows button at the official website, which is going to be linked down in the description. Anyways, once I've clicked on this button, the download is automatically going to start. Now as you can see in my downloads, I have the fabric installer and I can double click on that like so and as you can see it is going to pull up the fabric installer. We just want to keep it on this client section here. As you can see standard right here is going to be selected Minecraft version 1.20.3 and that's exactly what we want to keep it at. So once we have that correct, we shouldn't really need to change anything else unless you really know what you're doing. But for the most of you, this should be fine, and you can click on this install button over here. Then you want to click on yes, if that does pop up, which for me it did, I don't know why, I don't have the Minecraft launcher open, but oh well. Anyways, as you can see now, Fabric Loader has been successfully installed. And you can just click on OK. And then you can close this up. Now because this is just the installer, if you wish to do so, you can actually delete it. Anyways, now what we can do is open up mine the actual Minecraft launcher, and then you'll see that that once we load up the Minecraft launcher, the automatically selected version is going to be the fabric loader from 1.20.3. And if it's not there, then you might need to select it over here. Anyways, there it is, and now we can just click on play, and we'll have to understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft, which I'm sure you guys do. Anyways, the first time loading this up might actually require a little bit of an install process, which as you can see is going to happen for me right now, but don't worry, that's only going to be the first time that you load this up. Anyways, as you can see here for me, Minecraft has successfully loaded up, and I've gotten the 1.20.3 fabric. That is great, this is exactly what I wanted. Now if you're encountering some errors, I'm going to show you one of the most common fixes right now. If you're encountering any errors, here is a pretty simple way to fix it. Press on the Windows and R key at the same time, and then type in percent app data, just like that, and then another percentage sign. Then hit on enter or click OK. Once you're in here, you actually want to click on the .minecraft folder, then scroll down a little bit or just look down and find the mods folder. In here, delete anything that you might still have left in there. And once you've made sure that folder is empty, you can once again try to launch it. Now, obviously you don't really have to delete them, you can also just remove them from the folder if you don't want to have to go through the process of re-downloading all of them. Anyways, for right now though, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.